Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Licensed Answer, the show where you, the viewer, ask me the licensed answer or questions, and I attempt to answer them as best as I can. You can ask the deepest questions possible, like what is the meaning of life, or you could ask what my favorite color is. It just depends on what you're feeling like asking that day. Today, I'm here with my friend Jimmy. We are going to ask each other questions. So, yeah, Mr. Jimmy, how are you doing today on this fine day? Um, I'm doing pretty good. Good, 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 good. Have you done anything today exciting, or not really? Is it just one of those repetitive days? Yeah, it's been one of those days. Yeah. I mean, I mean, recently I've been like getting into programming. Oh, nice. So that's what I've been like. Yeah, that's what I've been wanting to do. But it's yeah. like balancing that with a band. Yeah, yeah. Is, hey, that's cool. Yeah. What uh, What language are you programming with? Uh, right now, I'm doing Python. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Nice. Yeah. I I dabbled in Python a little bit, but I uh I switched to C sharp more recently and JavaScript because that's what uh Unity. I've done some game design on Unity and that's like the primary language with that. So I I know just enough to type a couple things and make things do things, but that's about it. I did Python mainly because you know most companies. Yeah, use yeah, Python. yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's so, cool. Yeah. It's a useful skill, uh, especially for the future. Especially now. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. yeah. Now especially really now useful. and for the future. I mean, companies are looking for that stuff, so that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. All right, so I think we should just dive right into the questions. If you're listening on Spotify, uh, hello, consider leaving five-star review. And also, Jimmy is in a band that I believe y'all just released a single. Am I correct? Or did y'all release an EP? Released- we released a single and an EP. Okay, um, nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Um, Tide. Uh, let me make sure I'm getting the name. Okay, yeah. Uh, Platinum Tide on Spotify. So, so and where you stream music? Pretty go much. check. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. So go Except check SoundCloud because well, no SoundCloud. I I don't know. I haven't checked it SoundCloud. We haven't. I don't. We don't really. I think SoundCloud has a few covers too. So. Okay, nice, nice. That uh. That's cool. So yes, I will leave them linked in the on the YouTube, but wherever you're listening to this podcast, just look up Platinum Tide. You'll find them. Um, so let's dive directly into the questions. This question particularly pertains to recently because I've been delving a lot more into this. Have uh, so it's a multi-part question. Do you watch anime or read mangas? Yes or no. Ooh, it, it's been a while for both. I used to a few years back. Okay, because I have been not necessarily recently. I've been I've been reading mangas for like close to a year now, but I just recently started watching like the anime versions of of Attack on Titan, Assassination Classroom, uh, those. Yeah, and- the thing with like shows like that, like especially with Attack on Titan, it's like a lot of it you do also have to read the manga to understand. Yes, like what goes on. Yeah, it's like I watched a little bit of Attack on Titan, but I just I I don't feel like reading. Yeah, that, that's understandable. Hey, that's perfectly fine. See, I'm I think like the the last like manga I read was like a Legend of you know like the Legend of Zelda like mangas that they have now. Yeah, yeah, I've read some of them, read, just not yeah, all. Yeah, I read like the, I read the first two, and then I read one that was like Majora's Mask. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. cool. Nice. Yeah. Um. My one friend is big into the Legend of Zelda mangas, so and the games just in general. Oh, yeah, I have, are- yeah, the games are really, really good. I've only played like one seriously, Come on. but yeah, I are they? I do need to ask: Are they on Wii? Because we have a Wii. See, that's my. Hold there on. There are. I think there are two games. There, there's Skyward Sword and. Uh, I forget the other one. So I, I think the Twilight Princess. It's like Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword are on the Wii. Mm-hmm. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is still like $99. And like, dude, that was out like six years ago. Bro, for but, real. Yeah, hey, for real though, Advanced Warfare is literally the, to this day, best campaign I've played. I've only played five, but... My favorite card campaigns gotta be caught for. Like the original Modern Warfare... Okay, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't beat that. I know. I have heard great things about that, and that is actually on my and, list next. 
And World at War. World at War is really good. Yeah, isn't that... That was, like, number two or three chronologically, correct? I think it's, think. like... It was Call of Duty 1, 2, 3, of... COD 4, and then World at War, Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, yeah. it was the 2008 one. Yeah, I've heard really good things about World at War, but I have also heard that Modern Warfare 2, the one, uh, the remake, the one coming, well, not remake, but the the, the, the one coming Modern out, Warfare, yeah, the yeah. one coming out this year. I have heard that from some people and Twitter. Obviously, it's Twitter. I don't trust it. I don't. Yeah, but I barely yeah. trust anything I see on Twitter. But some of the people who've been allowed early access to the game have been calling it like the best game since the original Modern Warfare. See, here's here's my problem. So I was one of those people. I pre-ordered Vanguard like the second it was announced. Oh. I pre-ordered it because I was uh. like, dude, this is gonna be good. It has to be yeah. better than Call of Duty World War Two. <laughs> I want uh, my money back. Uh, like, okay, yeah. well, now that it's been out for close to a year, it's it's an okay game. Yeah. I, I can I can get on it and turn my brain off. Yeah. But it's like the zombies. Oh, yeah, for real. Come but, on. Then, like, me and my friend, we hate. Well, they added Sheena Numa, and I played it, and it's garbage. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it I, I, I like the round base aspect. It's just, it doesn't. It doesn't flow, and it, and it's a lot more easier than Black Ops Cold yes. War Zombies. Yeah, because I can do stuff, and I'm like, if I was in Cold War, I'd be dead right now. Yeah, see, I have a problem with games that boast themselves as, oh, we're we're literally a triple A studio with absolutely hundreds of employees, and we launch a game with this many bugs. That's well, why- Battlefield has always launched with a lot of bugs. Yeah, it's just like I guess Battlefield 2042 had a lot more game breaking bugs than other yeah. Battlefields. Yeah. Yeah. I do have to say, my favorite Battlefield game is Battlefield 1. It, 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 nothing will top Battlefield 1. Is that the one that's set in World War 2? Because I... I've, World War 1. Oh, uh, World War 1, okay. Battle, yeah. yeah. Battlefield 5 is... Uh, they could have easily just copied and pasted Battlefield 1, but made it World War 2 style, and it would have been perfect. Yeah. But no, they ruined it. And, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I've I've only played one Battlefield game. It was Battlefield Hardline, and I was Ooh, that game doesn't exist. Yeah, no. I like to I, imagine that, that game doesn't exist. Yeah, I um w- was not impressed. <laughs> That's probably yeah. why I haven't touched a Battlefield game in a while. Also, I got rid of Game Pass, and like all those games are on Game Pass now. I got rid of Game yeah. Pass because I said I made a, a deal with my uh, my boss, aka uh, Mother Dearest. Um, oh. I made a deal that if I dropped Game Pass Ultimate, we would get faster internet, and I'd pay for the faster internet. And the faster internet's great; it's awesome. We get like oh, 700 yeah. download speed, 55 Gorgeous. upload speed. It's absolutely beautiful. Very worth the extra 35 bucks a month I'm paying because I make more than 35 bucks a month, so it's worth it. Very <laughs> much so, but. <laughs> the one thing I'm, I'm worried about with Modern Warfare 2 is the $70 price tag. It, it's not the fact I'm paying, like, I, I, oh, I don't like paying more. It's the fact that if I'm paying more money, it better be good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And, like, I, I watched this, uh, I heard about this thing where these, uh, these YouTubers were on a call with the uh, makers of the game. And they asked them about it, and they're like, you know, usually they do the normal PR stuff. Like, oh, we're taking COD into a new direction, and we're yeah. doing this, this. Yeah. They just flat out said, this is the best thing we've ever created. And I'm like... I doubt that. <laughs> like, I, it's not that I doubt it. It's just like... I'm worried. Yeah. I, about it. Because it's like, it could be a good game. Like, I loved the new Modern Warfare game, personally. It was a pretty, pretty good game. I, I did, would, yeah. I but agree. But Modern Warfare 2, it's like... What can you do to make it better than the first one? Right. That's what I, I want it better than the first one. I don't want it to be another copy and paste. Right. Like Vanguard so was like, with World War Two. <laughs> not even that. It, it's just here's here's my take on like any past war game, especially World War Two, since it's like more widely covered. Mm-hmm. If you're gonna make a World War Two game, this goes to any like. M- you need to make it as realistic as possible because yes. if you make if you like because a lot of especially with like historians. Mm-hmm. They'll be like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. now with exactly like that Vanguard with multiplayer, it's like, well, 
the gun customization aspect. It's like I like that it, they look cursed because they're funny to me. Yeah. Um, and then you have the people that are like, oh, that's not historically accurate. It's like it's the multiplayer isn't meant to be. Right. The campaign. The campaign, even though it it's should not, be. It should be, but it, it's most definitely not. Um, yeah. They, they messed up a few things. But yeah. I, I don't really care. The can- When I first played through the campaign, it was I was like, oh, this is this is cool. This is good. And then I replayed it again. I was like, this is the worst campaign I've yeah. ever played. Yeah. Like. Call of Duty World War Two was so much better. Yeah, it takes you a like sec- it takes you a hot second to realize that like almost nothing in the campaign. Okay, some of it's historically accurate, but a no. lot in the campaign, especially the Vanguard campaign, a lot is yeah. very historically inaccurate. They tried to like turn the Vanguard campaign into like a Hollywood movie. Yeah. Yeah, Call t- Call of Duty campaigns should have like they should have some of that un unre- a little bit of unrealisticness Just to make to it add, more like, exciting. Where you're like, oh, that's cool, but you should also keep it. Yeah, scared. you should keep it grounded, and you should yeah. keep it not like, oh, we're trying to make this a movie. Like that's why I like uh, that's why I like Modern Warfare 2019 a lot is because that is that's a good blend. Exactly. It's a good blend of you've got the cinematics which add to the story, develop characters and whatnot, but also this is legitimately like modern warfare. And this warfare. is what they yeah. this is what they use nowadays. This is if, how things would actually play out. And I'm not a soldier or anything, so I don't know for yeah, I can't yeah. say that for a fact, but but it feels very i've read a lot of books about like modern warfare and it feels very uh, feels very realistic and up to date and accurate i wonder i wonder if the modern warfare 2 campaign they're gonna take it into the same direction as the old one where it like turns out to be you know world war 3 yeah Cause I, I like that aspect of yeah modern warfare 2. what was advanced warfare because advanced warfare was legitimately activision? i th- think it's activision I, but yeah, yeah yeah it was activision um, I just googled it. It was, I think it got a lot of crap for being unrealistic, but well, also then a lot of people it, were tired of the like advanced concept. Yeah, like at the time, I think there was like Titanfall was really big, and then, right, like, that's Halo true. At really the big. time, Titanfall and Halo were absolutely massive, so people kind of wanted something. Shutting down the original Titanfall like multiplayer servers. What? No, I didn't. Yeah. What the heck? Apparently, that's like gonna tick off one. a lot of people. That's gonna make a well, lot think, of people I mad. I think they are. I'm not sure. I heard like the other day that like they could be shutting down. I'm like, that's an L. I've never played Titanfall before. I've heard it's a good game. I just haven't really. It is very. I I it. can I can vouch. It is a great game. The orig- I personally, and this is my personal opinion. Comments may flame. Whatever. I don't really care. I think Titanfall two is one of my like it's one of my favorite games of all time the campaign Mwah. like mm. masterpiece the campaign of any video game campaign i j- like the story moves well the characters are really good i can with confidence say it is in my top 3 favorite campaigns ever in any video game it may be number one, but I'd have to see a list of everything I've ever played because I know I've forgotten things. Are you excited? Because I know you mentioned in the previous podcast, the Sunday Biscuits episode, we recorded right up here, by the way, viewers, if you want to, YouTube viewers, if you want to watch it, it's right up there. Um, are you excited for Thor Love and Thunder? And if you are, why? I'm going to be, so I went to, I went, I watched Doctor Strange when it came out. Yes. And after watching it, hearing that it was meant to come out before Spider-Man, I was very disappointed. Yeah. Um, it was a good movie. Don't get me wrong. It's good, great movie. Uh, I, I I enjoyed it. It was darker. I liked the darker aspect of the Doctor That's Strange true. movie. Yeah. Thor: Love and Thunder. It looks interesting, but I'm I'm just not. I would have to like finish, like Thor: The Dark World, and I haven't finished it because I don't feel like watching it. But yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to see it or not. I may wait till it comes out on Disney Plus. I may yeah, watch it. Yeah, that's fair. Then. That's fair. Speaking of Thor, Love, and Thunder, have you seen the Obi-Wan series at all? Literally, while we were watching lunch, I was watching that. <laughs> um, what, what episode are you on? I'm on episode three, I believe. Oh, yeah, I yeah. haven't I haven't watched the full thing, but I have heard that it's right. very, very good. Uh, okay, I'm going to... 
I'm not, I'm gonna try to give my thoughts without spoiling anything. It's it really is fine if you accidentally spoil something. Okay. I I care, but at the same time, I kind of don't. <laughs> so my my thoughts on the Obi Wan series, it was it was good. I, I enjoyed it. I'm glad it finally came out after four years of waiting. Yeah. Do I feel like it was worth the four years of waiting? Not really. I'm yeah. glad Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen are back, and that makes me really happy that they still like they still right. you know, like their role. Right, um, right. There's a lot of stuff, like many. There's a lot of like tiny things that Disney could have done to make it better. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of small stuff they messed up on that makes me a little upset. Mm-hmm. So, okay, I'm gonna tell you what happens in the end. That's it's fine. It's like a 30 second clip. Qui Gon Jinn comes back as a force force ghost. Bro. Um, yeah, That's for cool. 30 seconds. He says, I've been waiting for the right time. And then he disappears, and the show ends. Bruh. It's like, you could have done, yeah, done, like, a whole other episode with to fill in the gap. Because pretty much the Obi-Wan series is to fill in the gap between Ewan McGregor's Obi-Wan and... Uh, uh, yeah, Ben in the, ori- uh, in the ben, original yeah. ones, yeah. And it's, and it's just like... Dude, they could have done so much more to the show. It was a good show, but I, I feel like they could have done a lot, a lot more to make yeah. it a lot better. Origi- I, I kind of wish it was a movie. That would have been a lot cooler. I, th- I really, there are several things recently that have come out that I firmly believe if they were a movie would have been a lot better because I, I don't know. There's there's a lot recently that's happened that I would have. Yeah, there's. Yeah. I don't know. It's It's weird. It is, it is, in fact, quite weird. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for listening to this podcast. Uh, thank you, Jimmy, for being on this podcast and talking video games, movies, and whatever the heck we feel like talking <laughs> about at the current time. Uh, if you guys want him back on the podcast, then uh, do your thing. Leave, uh, Destroy the like button. Decimate it. Desecrate it. Um, d- demolish it. Um, help. Are there other words, uh, Jimmy, that I can... Um, oh um, uh, g- just do it. Just do it. Just be- pull a Nike and just do it. So thank you so much for listening. And until the next time, this has been Licensed Answer. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.